All right, let's take a look at what's happening in West Palm Beach this evening. Good evening, everyone. Hope you enjoyed your Memorial Day. Had that chance to do some cookouts this afternoon, if possible. I know the morning was a little rough in the early afternoon with the thunderstorms that rolled in. Uh, West Palm Beach, though, looking good right now. Most of our area looking really good, but we could see some overnight showers and thunderstorms as well as morning rainfall again tomorrow morning. Inland afternoon storms are a possibility as everything starts to move inland and over to the west coast of Florida. And could the remnants of Agatha become our first named storm of the season? Alex in the Atlantic Basin, the Gulf of Mexico or Caribbean. Let's get down to it. Temperatures right now in the 70s all along the Treasure Coast, low 70s inland around the lake, a little cooler out there. Uh, same goes for Belle Glade, where it's about 77 degrees. We've got 78 in West Palm, 78 Lake Worth, 77 down in Boca right now, too. So cooling down very slowly, but steadily through the evening hours. No rainfall around right now, some just offshore. We've got showers and thunderstorms that have died out along the west coast of Florida. They had a lot of rainfall there this afternoon. Uh, here's what we're looking at overnight tonight. Tonight, this trough, this big long area of low pressure starts to move in along the coast and by early tomorrow morning we start to see showers and thunderstorms push in along the east coast. Then everything moves over toward the west coast of Florida in the afternoon. Most of our area under the risk for isolated strong to severe storms tomorrow with the exception of the coast. But I still think we could see a few strong storms along the coast tomorrow morning. We get to Wednesday, rain chances go down a little bit, Thursday down a little bit, and then we start to turn our attention to what's happening down here. The remnants of Agatha. Agatha now a tropical storm was a hurricane when it made landfall earlier today. Now starting to fall apart. It's likely it will fall completely apart, but its remnants will make it their way up into the Gulf of Mexico potentially or over into the Western Caribbean over the Yucatan Peninsula. Either way, we could see some redevelopment as we get into the middle of this week. Hurricane Center giving it a 50% chance that that will happen this week. Computer models are all over the place, some moving toward the west coast of Florida, some south of Florida, some back over to Texas and Mexico. We're going to have to wait and see over the next couple of days what the remnants end up doing, and then we'll know a lot more. But here's the American model called the GFS. It shows the remnants of Agatha moving over the Yucatan Peninsula and then up over Cuba and then just south and southeast of us as we get into Friday and Saturday, which could give us a boost in rainfall as we head into this weekend. So that's what we're watching for right now. Tomorrow, a 40% chance for showers and thunderstorms along the coast in the morning, then inland in the afternoon, 30% Wednesday, Thursday, and that potential boost in rainfall Friday and Saturday as the remnants of Agatha move closer to Florida if that happens. We're going to keep a close eye on it the next couple of days, and we'll know a lot more if those remnants move back out over open water. Let's look at your first warning forecast.